Today I just wanted to talk to you about 10 inexpensive items that I have found to aid in my concealment or my joys and pleasures of wildlife photography. I've had several questions about some of the things that I use or and where I've got them from etc. And I thought, do you know what, I've got, a, I've got easily 10 items that I use every time or almost every time I go out. So I just thought I'd do a, a top 10 budget must have accessories for wildlife photographers. Gloves. As wildlife photographers you worry about having your little shiny white digits reflecting in the sunshine or... And I think one of the first things I purchased were a pair of um, kind of summer uh, concealment gloves from Amazon and I think they were and they were £11. Pounds. Um, I did wonder kind of what quality they would be for £11, pounds, but I've had them for a couple of years and um, I haven't shown any signs of massive wear and tear. The, they have a honeycomb grip on the face of them to obviously aid with not, um, not letting go of your camera. Um, it, thumbs and two fingers have been cut out so that you can use all your controls. And I definitely wouldn't be without them. So if I did ever lose them or they fell apart, I think for £11 I would be straight on Amazon and I'd be buying another pair because these are one of the items that I really do not go out without. And I wear them in autumn, it's only winter that I don't because that is literally too cold. Second item, a poncho. Now there's two ponchos in this list and they were both £19. Uh, I think they both came from Amazon. There aren't any links or anything below because they're not affiliated products. They are just products that I have bought over the last couple of years and especially with the way that 2020 and 2021 has gone. Um, there's not been that many opportunities to go out and buy. Admittedly, most of the things that I've bought, I haven't found a shop that you can just go into and buy from anyway. So it's always pretty much for me is online shopping. I've usually found that Amazon place to be for all these kind of accessory parts. Now this is just a really handy mesh uh, leaf patterned print poncho especially being in the summer you know okay yes I've, I've morphed in the knot I'm wearing camouflage um, clothing but not all the time most of my gear is kind of greens and browns and blacks um, this isn't just to conceal you know my my color is the poncho hides your shape um, I've used it also just to put over the camera and tripod uh, so to conceal that shape. And there's been a few times where I've hung it over the camera, the tripod, and then myself as well with the back half. Um, so it just conceals as a, like a whole blanket kind of shape and form. Great in the summer. Um, I've even hung it up a few times um, between a couple of trees with a bit of paracord and some clips. I've used it to hang over the door of the camper van and I'll show you a picture of that there. And then I've just hung my lens out of the hood section and used the draw cord to tie it in. Uh, I've used the van a few times as like a concealment hide because it's obviously it's one of the best kind of mobile hides you can have. I'm just going to pause it there to let you know that there will be a video in the spring of me using the poncho over the tripod and camera in the canoe as a hide. Um, so again it packs down into a really small kind of dry sack it takes up very little room and that was under £20 from Amazon. Third item is another poncho but in this case it's a rain poncho. Now this lives in my bag and it's been used summer and winter just because it's nice to be able to throw a rain cover over you know, you, your bag, even though my bag's waterproof and I have actually got a rainproof 
rainproof cover which will be um, of one of these these 10 items it's just nice to be able to throw it over so when it means you don't have to wear a waterproof coat it also means that the straps of your rucksack won't get wet usually I've got a chest rig on which is either a binocular pouch or an accessories rig and again I've used it just for concealment to throw over the camera tripod and myself a few times again for £20 I've found that quite invaluable and that lives in my camera bag it's not as light as uh, most of the other parts that I've got but there's been in fact most of the time as long as it's not cold particularly um, and I think there might be rain in the forecast I still don't wear a coat I will literally just have that in my bag for if and when it does rain and again that was under £20 from Amazon Balaclava now this one is a fine kind of really nice lightweight mesh weave this came from eBay for under six quid and there is a multitude of patterns I think there's 12 or 13 different variations of camouflage print so I won't even start by you know explaining what, what some of the patterns are but everything from black to white camp snow camo and everything in between desert woodland reeds um, you know for waterfowl etc but I put a picture of this up just there. This has been used a lot, uh, summer and winter. As a winter, it's often used as an extra warm layer. Still have a woolly hat over the top, but again, it was it's six pounds, and it packs down to this. So nine times out of ten, I've got all my small concealment items in one dry bag that all the air has been squished out of and rolled up, and it ends up kind of this size for you know. Um, gloves, hat, and uh, a few of the other things I've got in this list today. So, winter hats, six pound from eBay. And there's a picture there. I've got various different hats again. I've, one I tend to wear a lot of is just a, a green um, merino wool hat. Um, which is my old bushcrafting um, hat. I haven't included that in the list because that was quite an expensive hat. I think I was about £30. I mean, I've had it probably 15 years or so, but it's lasted really well. But I just wanted a, a smaller, lightweight. It's not as thick. Again, it just packs down to nothing. This, again, is often in that little pack, the little bag of all my kind of concealment accessories that I carry. And like I said, that was less than six pounds on eBay. Our oh, buffs. Now I expect most of the world these days have come across buffs. This is a new one that I bought during Christmas when I was away, and this is the National Geographic kind of um, alternate survey kind of print. But I found it kind of quite the pattern is broken up so nice that it's. I use that as, as a camouflage one. I've got them in various different camouflage prints and non-camouflage prints. Been wearing them even in my kind of rock climbing winter mountaineering days. But again, I use them in the summer to keep me from sweating around the neck. Helps absorb sweat. You can pull up over your face for concealment. Uh, and again, in the winter, I'm usually out. I've usually got a buff on no matter where I go. And these you can pick up, you know, you can pick up proper buffs from Amazon from £10 upwards. I've got a couple of imitation buffs that have cost me three or four pounds from eBay. They aren't as good, they don't wick as well, and they tend to start smelling a bit funny after, you know, a dozen washes or so, where the sweat doesn't kind of wash out of them properly. But again, it packs down to nothing. I've always got one round my neck. And if it's not round my neck for whatever reason, I've often got it shoved round my wrist. foam sit mat you can literally pick these up for two or three pounds on ebay sports direct millets this one is a caramel one i think i bought from sports direct probably 10 years ago um, when i looked them up they are available on amazon for 4.99 
This is my original one and it's never falling apart. Okay, I'm sure it's insulated properties aren't quite as good as it used to be, but it weighs nothing, it sits like that. It's folded down in my camera bag. You, very, you barely notice it's there. And that has saved me many a wet or cold rear end. I also used it a few times on walls when I've been photographing and I don't want to rest my camera lens in the mossy green boggy uh, kind of uh, flint and, and handmade walls of Wales and, and Cumbria etc. Um, it saves it getting all scratched up and it saves the, the, the near print of the lens getting wet. And I've used this you know even being laying on the floor sometimes taking photographs just to rest the camera on stop them getting muddy and it ends as like a foot plate it's been been very handy so that, that literally lives in my bag i've got a few of these in different rucksacks for different purposes for for different uh, different outings but that lives in my camera bag so i never forget to take it with me this was a purchase from eBay. It was under £20 and I mainly bought this when I um, I used to use a, a pop-up um, toilet and turn it into like a, an inexpensive hide uh, and there's a video I did three or four months back on that. Um, I bought this for that purpose but since then I have found that I that I that I use this I use this in the van when I'm editing. Um, I could have the laptop just sat on my on my lap, but um, you can see from the picture here that I use this uh, editing in the van. I also use it out in the field if I know I'm going to be sitting by the edge of a, a, a hedge or a fence line for some time. It's better than kneeling, especially as I'm I'm not a youngster anymore. But it doesn't weigh a great deal. It goes in a bag. It's got hard adjustable legs. And if I want to take it with me, I just strap it to the side of my rucksack. It's also got a swivel top, which is nice. Makes it a lot more comfortable. It always makes it bigger and heavier than some of the other ones you can buy for like half the price. But I really found that the swivel function was, was worth the extra weight, size and price. I did have one before that didn't swivel, didn't have high adjustable legs and if you want to even move remotely, slightly, um, you end up, it's just uncomfortable and it makes too much motion, too much fast motion on yourself, so it affects the wildlife. Number nine, rain covers. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to you about two rain covers as number nine because they both kind of serve the same purpose but for two different items. Now this is a, a rain sleeve for my camera lens and this this has been used an unbelievable amount in fact considering it was £10 on eBay that this will cover I mean my camera is the EOS R and it is waterproof um, the Sigma lens I use for the wildlife photography is kind of shower proof but not waterproof certainly not torrential downpour proof so I carried this and it just says having to dry out the camera and the microphone if I've got the microphone on or even the, the wireless microphone which is on it now. It just covers everything and it's just handy when you know it's going to rain. There's been a couple of times where I've just managed to, you know, if I've stopped because it's raining I'm going to have a, a cuppa. I've got my poncho over me, I throw that over the camera uh, and then I know I can just let it sit there and rain and it's not going to get wet. And again that's something that's that sits flat, it lives in with my poncho and my sit mat because it sits completely flush. Another item that was another rain cover is one that just goes over my um, camera bag. It's not something I use all the time and I know in that case you're wondering why it's in that list of, of my 10 inexpensive parts and that's because it's not just, I don't just use it for a rain cover. If it's heavy rain as I have explained that I tend to throw my poncho over the whole of me including my camera bag this, when I started using the poncho, I was like, oh, maybe I, I just won't bother carrying it with me anymore. But what I found is that I use it more now than I ever have. 
and that's not for when it's raining it's for if I'm going down to uh, if it's been raining and the ground is soaked or I'm in a muddy area around wetland in woodland that I have thrown this over the bag one it's just a bit of concealment but it means that when I put the bag down that this gets muddy and this does get muddy I was quite surprised how often I have to keep cleaning this it means that this gets muddy my camera bag is back opening so literally that plops on the floor bag opens here and then I haven't got to try and keep my bag clean I mean it it is kept clean and I do clean my bag but I've never had to clean thick mud off it so this this strangely enough even though I bought it as a rain cover I don't use it in the rain because I use the poncho but again it's something that sits and folds flat and that is squeezed between my sit mat just to keep it nice and flat and that again lives in my bag and I use that more than I ever actually thought I would because I thought I would only use it on rainy days but in fact it's for muddy days and boggy days and has rained days and it keeps my bag dry and clean and number 10 is these mesh scarves now this is a cut down one because I've used it on a few projects on my hide etc um, again there is loads of variations of this I'm in the middle of using a section of it to weave some concealment I've got a ghillie suit um, that it came with loads of extra material and at the moment I've taken a strip of this off and I'm in the process of weaving a little kind of sleeve snood to go over my my camera lens oh it's just a it's just something to muck around with and see what it does but this usually again can get thrown over the camera just to conceal it's the, you know the shape of the camera etc and the lens um, I'm gonna put a picture up here and these can be picked up from six pounds five six pound upwards I think this this exact one I think I paid £10 from Amazon I'm about to order another one because I do like to use it a lot even though in the summer just for concealment of shape and form of the camera and tripod I just thought I wanted to share some of the the inexpensive parts that I use and like I said I've had quite a few people have asked me questions where they've seen me using particular parts and bits of my videos and have asked me you know what they are and where I bought them from um, and then it just seemed that that these parts and accessories seem to be such a big part of my my wildlife day I really wanted to share it with everybody out there just to show that not everything in wildlife photography is expensive and this lot here as individual pieces depending on seasons and what I'm doing has made a, a, a difference between getting that photo and not or being warm or not dry or not comfortable or not and I wouldn't be without any of them I have got some other inexpensive bits and bobs I probably could have done a list of 20 items but the other 10 are things that I don't use all the time they were just useful to have from time to time but these are the 10 items that I other than the stool the other nine items go out every time the stool is usually for when I have planned on sitting for a while or I know I'm editing but I put that in there because again it's something that I would not be without but if you've liked the video and um, please give it a thumbs up and if you don't subscribe then that would be great if you would because that really helps my channel grow if you'd like to know when my next video is up just click on the notifications tab and that will let you know when it's been released it's usually on a Friday at 5 p.m. and I am in the middle of doing a series of smaller Tuesday couple of minute videos on individual pieces and um, bits and bobs so thanks for watching see you again soon bye for now if you want to know more about me or see some of my images you'll find me on haydenthomasphotography.co.uk you'll also find me on instagram facebook and twitter